Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my first impressions about the survival game Subnautica. Now I'm not going into this game completely blind. I do have not a lot, but I do have experience with Subnautica before. I've basically been following the game since it came out. Like not actively, I've seen YouTube videos mainly about the creatures. I don't really know anything about the survival aspect. I just know about the creatures in it. Like I, I'll know what a Reaper Leviathan or a Ghost Leviathan or a Sea Emperor or a Warper looks like. But um, I don't really know how. Uh, well, I do know how the crafting works. I just don't really know the crafting recipes and all the minerals and, and stuff that you can find in the game. Um, so what do I think after playing the game for like an hour? I know that is a long time, but I, I'd like to give my uh, impressions as early as possible. I, I want to experience the game first, of course, but I want to. Uh, I don't want to have like 10 hours on it. So I, I think that it's, it's really promising so far. I've, uh, I've not really... <clears throat> move that far away from my base um, the escape pod or whatever it's called I did reach the radiation zone um, and I can get any further than that like closer to the aurora um, other than that I've just been swimming around collecting stuff trying to make all of the uh, different um, the different uh, items I suppose like the, the mobile vehicle bay and the sea glider and and getting the blueprints for those those things and I've made some flippers and an oxygen tank I made a, a survival knife or pocket knife I don't, I don't know uh, what it's called so that's how far I've gotten in the game I've been, done a lot of exploring um, a thing that I really like about Sonotica is, is the atmosphere I do think that the sound design the sound design is great and, and so are the visuals. I mean, I hate the water. Um, I'm a swimmer, but I, I, I and I like swimming pools, but I don't like what like deep water or or like murky water or any form of like non-swimming pool water in in general. Unless like, I think I'm more afraid of lakes than the ocean. I I don't know why. Uh, I know that that's completely off topic. Um. I do really like the atmosphere in Subnautica, in the zones that I've seen. Um, and of course the visuals, the game looks great both at night time and during daytime. You know, in, in uh, Ark Survival Evolved for example. Um, the, the nights are often way too dark, so I always turn my gamma up. But sometimes like, I've tried playing without my gamma up and it's basically impossible. The thing is, flat, um, the torches in Arc just make it harder to see further away from you. That means it's, it's easy to see close to you, but everything else just turns pitch black. And I know that's off topic as well. Um, I do like how the crafting and, and the... Yeah, I, I do like how the crafting works. Uh, it's going to be a diff bit difficult to remember all the different like materials, like um, the, those crystal things and, and titanium and... Uh, copper and, and salt and, and stuff but I, I think I'll get used to it um, I also um, I also really like the inventory management uh, aspect how items don't have a, a certain weight you can't take a certain amount of items that they take up a certain amount of space um, in your inventory and uh, I haven't played that game, I think it was like some Resident Evil game or something, I don't know, I used to see it on, a lot uh, on like top 10s and stuff um, back in the days where, which had like inventory management as well, uh, where stuff took up, like you had to pay, play Tetris with your inventory basically to store items, and I think that's kind of unique nowadays anyway. Uh, most games either have like a weight system or they have a, um, a max item system. For example, PUBG and, and ARK, they have weight um, when it comes to items and stuff like Minecraft and, and a lot of other survival games like Stranded Deep, they have a, um, a certain amount of like storage slots and when those are full, your inventory is full. But I do really like the weight aspect and I'm also glad it doesn't slow you down from what I can tell anyway, um, which is good because ARK can get kind of annoying. 
because uh, you you're going to be moving really slow unless you're at like at max like no weight minimum weight. Um, I like the creature design in Subnautica. I I, I hate the crash fish, but everyone hates the crash crash fish from what I know anyway. They're annoying, especially our the game. They'll take away like one third of your health, if not more. Um, and I I I don't really like their appearance. Either. They look kind of weird. But I do like the appearance of everything else. Those, I don't even know what those sea cows with green ball sacks. Um, I, I, I don't actually know what those are called. I like the stalkers and I like the uh, reef packs. I wish the, the reef packs tails had had some form of collision, but I, I think they're cool. Um, and of course, all the normal fish have have unique and cool designs as well. I think the peeper is basically the icon of Subnautica. Um, but yeah, that's my uh, impressions of my first one hour on Subnautica. I'm looking forward to going exploring, seeing new biomes for the first time, having maybe a sea glider or a sea moth so I can actually like travel around the map a lot quicker. Uh, like a, a radiation suit would, would be nice so I can explore the Aurora and see those terrifying spider, whatever those things are. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but seeing more creatures, um, like the sea, the sea, yeah, sea dragon or a uh, reaper leviathan. But anyway, that's all I have for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.